So we're looking to build a holder for our tools today, which hooks onto our French cleat system. So we're using some scrap ply. This is about 18 mil. This is one of the French cleat pieces, with that 45 degree lip that we've already cut to size. So we're just gonna mark up the plywood and we're gonna cut that down as well. Just mark it off, square it up, then we'll hit it up with the saw. Usually I'd use the bandsaw for these quick cuts, but unfortunately the throat isn't deep enough. So instead we'll do the jigsaw. We'll just lay out the tools. So we're looking to put on two batteries, an impact driver and a drill driver. So just measuring the width of the handles on these, as that's what we want to slot in. So we're looking at about 40 mil. So our piece of timber is 44 mil. So we are looking to cut four slots into that. So let's measure it out, square it up. So they're the centers of the lines. From there, we need to add an extra 20 mil or so on each side. And then we'll just square it off on the top as well. So of course you can customize these however you wish. And we'll just do a quick test fit, making sure that all of the tools sit in there properly. So the batteries I'm going to have upside down so I can check the battery levels as well. They all fit. We'll just clean it up a bit with some sandpaper. Okay, so for the next step, we've got our rail, which hooks onto the French cleat system. That's going to attach to the back. Just hold that in place. We'll have a look how this system fits together. So we'll also have a piece of timber down the bottom, which is the same length, same width as that top piece as well, which is about 20 mil in this case. Then we're just gonna have a 45 degree bracket there. Or 90 degree, I should say. So for that 90 degree bra bracket, we're just going to measure out a square so it's 15 centimetres. So we'll measure 15 centimetres in as well, which gives us the square, or 150 mil. Now we'll just cut that straight across the diagonal and that gives us two 90 degree triangles. With the jigsaw we're starting at the farthest triangle. Just makes it a bit easier. Then we'll just clean those up with the sandpaper. And then glue and screw. So 
just do a quick test fit just so you can see how things are progressing so even without those bottom brackets it does pretty much hold in place so next we'll add on those triangles those 90 degree brackets so they're glued and screwed as well then for that bottom strip of timber as well once again glue and screw And there, we're done. So it's a solid little unit. We're using that thick ply, but you can use whatever scrap timber you have. These can be customized however you like to fit whatever sorts of tools you'd like. It's nice and solid. It's not moving anywhere. And we'll slot our tools in. Love it. So remember to hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, hope you enjoy.